It's time for environmentalists to give nuclear a fair go. This is an article by Mian Corey Bradshaw, published today in The Conversation. I'm republishing it here. Should nuclear energy be part of Australia's and many other countries' future energy mix? We think so, particularly as part of a solution to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and prevent dangerous climate change. Is the future of biodiversity conservation nuclear? Is the future of biodiversity conservation nuclear? But there are other reasons for supporting nuclear technology. In a paper recently published in Conservation Biology, we show that an energy mix including nuclear power has lowest impact on wildlife and ecosystems which is what we need given the dire state of the world's biodiversity. In response, we have gathered signatures of 66 leading conservation scientists from 14 countries in an open letter asking that the environmental community weigh up the pros and cons of different energy sources using objective evidence and pragmatic trade-offs rather than simply relying on idealistic perceptions of what is green. Energy demand is rising. Modern society is a ceaseless consumer of energy and growing demand won't stop anytime soon, even under the most optimistic energy efficiency scenario. Although it goes without saying that we must continue to improve energy efficiency in the developed world. The momentum of population growth and rising living standards, particularly in the developing world, means we will continue to need more energy for decades to come. No amount of wishful thinking for reduced demand will change that. But which are the best forms of energy to supply the world and not add to the biodiversity crisis? Assessing our energy options. In short, the argument goes like this. To avoid the worst ravages of climate change, we have to decarbonize fully eliminate net carbon emissions from the global electricity sector. Wildlife and ecosystems are threatened by this climate disruption, largely caused by fossil fuel-derived emissions. But they are also imperiled by land transformation i.e. habitat loss caused in part by other energy sources, such as flooded areas usually forests for hydroelectricity, and all the associated road development this entails, agricultural areas needed for biofuels, and large spaces needed for wind and solar farms. Energy density of different fuels. This infographic shows the amount of energy embodied in uranium, coal, natural gas, and a chemical battery, scale to provide enough energy for a lifetime of use, in the developed world. Shown are the amount of each source needed to provide same amount of energy, equivalent to 220 kWh of energy per day for 80 years. In the paper, we evaluated land use, emissions, climate, and cost implications of three different energy scenarios. A business as usual future dominated by fossil fuels a high renewable energy mix excluding nuclear promoted by Greenpeace and energy mix, with a large nuclear contribution 50% of energy mix, plus a balance of renewable and fossil fuel sources with carbon capture and storage. As conservation scientists concerned with global depletion of biodiversity and the degradation of the human life support system this entails, we, the co-signed, support the broad conclusions drawn in the article Kirill for Nuclear Energy and Global Biodiversity Conservation published in Conservation Biology Brooke and Bradshaw 2014. Brooke and Bradshaw argue that the full gamut of electricity generation sources including nuclear power must be deployed to replace the burning of fossil fuels if we are to have any chance of mitigating severe climate change. They provide strong evidence for the need to accept a substantial role for advanced nuclear power systems with complete fuel recycling as part of a range of sustainable energy technologies that also includes appropriate use of renewables, energy storage and energy efficiency. This multi-pronged strategy for sustainable energy could also be more cost-effective and spare more land for biodiversity, as well as reduce non-carbon pollution aerosols, heavy metals. Given the historical antagonism towards nuclear energy amongst the environmental community, we accept that this stands as a controversial position. However, much as leading climate scientists have recently advocated the development of safe, next-generation nuclear energy systems to combat global climate change called ERA et al. 2013, we entreat the conservation and environmental community to weigh up the pros and cons of different energy sources using objective evidence and pragmatic trade-offs rather than simply relying on idealistic perceptions of what is green. 
although renewable energy sources, like wind and solar will likely make increasing contributions to future energy production, these technology options face real-world problems of scalability, cost, material, and land use, meaning that it is too risky to rely on them as the only alternatives to fossil fuels. Nuclear power being by far the most compact and energy-dense of sources could also make a major, and perhaps leading, contribution. As scientists, we declare that an evidence-based approach to future energy production is an essential component of securing biodiversity's future and cannot be ignored. It is time that conservationists make their voice heard in this policy arena.